One of the questions we're frequently asked uh, regarding our Sonos Virtual Matrix driver is whether there's a way to properly emulate uh, a zone grouping type feature. Uh, most people are aware that the driver is able to route the auxiliary input from one Sonos player over to another Sonos player, but in an ideal world you also want to be able to control that interface from whatever player it is you're currently using, uh, just like you would using the normal Sonos zone grouping feature. So we've just put this little video together to demonstrate an easy and uh, quick way of doing that. So in our setup here, uh, every room has uh, access to Music Source 1 and Music Source 2. Both of these are your standard Sonos Connect amps, uh, Sonos Connect, sorry, uh, and they're patched into a Niles uh, Oriel, which then pipes the music to the local speakers in each room. Obviously, though, uh, in some rooms we might not have speakers already wired, so we'll be using a Sonos uh, Connect amp, or uh, in this instance, in this hallway space, we're using a Play One. And ideally, we'd like to be able to have that Play One pump out Music Source One and Music Source Two uh, as well. Now, obviously, we can do that uh, fairly easily using the Virtual Matrix driver. We're able to specify the MAC address of each of those Sonos players and then when changing to that source it will automatically pump the auxiliary input from that external Sonos player, so from Music Source 1 into this Play 1 and so it will play the same music. However, what people really want to be able to do is have a proper interface to control it, uh, just as though you're using a normal Sonos uh, app for doing this. So we have a really simple way of being able to do that and that's literally to take your Sonos Connect amp and then also take some Y phono leads which have a pass through and we go into the output on the Sonos Connect and we route that straight back into the input. Obviously you've got your pass through if you need to plug it into an REL or something else and uh, then we have this input so this very amp whatever it's playing is also being replicated in a secondary stream out and it's this secondary stream which we're then able to capture so if we have a look at how that looks in configurator and just zoom in so it's a little bit clearer so in configurator we have uh, media and we're on our single zone controller with the virtual matrix and for Global Feed 1 we have the MAC address of one of these music sources and Global Feed 2 we have the MAC address of the other one. So if we drop down to that to see what we're doing, if you notice the important thing here is for source device, because we're taking the feed directly out of the Sonos player which is generating the feed, we're now able to use its interface. So this is going to stream music sources to auxiliary input to this hallway play unit that we have and because it's coming directly from it we can use its interface to control it so we can have real-time adjustment uh, of, of the levels there and we've done exactly the same for music source one so it's using music source one's interface uh, which is just your normal uh, sonos interface that imports into a LAN and we're just piping that directly through and out to this hallway player. So in practice, what that means is this. If we press Music Source 1, the interface we get is the interface for Music Source 1. Pressing play, we'll start that music playing and turning the volume up here is directly affecting that play unit. So we're giving the play functionality directly inside uh, a normal LAN driver. So that gives uh, a rough overview really of what's possible. Exactly the same if we change the source, that's now changed the auxiliary input to the second Sonos Connect amp and uh, pressing play again on there, streaming that through to this little play unit and again we've got the volume control working and the full interface just as though it was actually uh, directly connected 
and fully support it.